Okay, pag-aaralan natin ngayon ang laws of exponents. Meron tayong limang laws of exponents. Number one is the product of powers. For any number x and any positive integers m and n, x are the quantity of x raised to m times the quantity of x raised to n equals x raised to m plus n. We're going to copy the same base and then add their exponent. Okay, meron tayong example. Number 1, a raised to 4 times a raised to 5 equals a raised to 4 plus 5. I-add ang exponent. Then, 4 plus 5 equals 9. Therefore, the answer is a raised to 9th power. Number 2, 3a raised to 7 times 5a raised to 3. So, ang una muna nating gagawin, multiply natin yung numerical coefficient. We have 3 times 5 equals 15. And then, kopyahin natin yung variable na a. And then, i-add natin yung exponent. So, we have a, 7 plus 3. Therefore, the answer is 15a raised to 10th power. Next, the number to low sub exponent is power of f of power. For any number x and any positive integers m and n, the quantity of x raised to m raised to another power n is equal to x raised to m times n. So, we multiply the exponent. Example ng power of a power number 1. x raised to 3 raised to another power 5. It is equal to x raised to 3 multiplied by 5. So, yung 3 at 5, ita times natin. Then, 3 times 5 is 15. So, therefore, number 1, the answer is x raised to 15th power. Number 2 example, we have 5x cubed raised to another power 2 or raised to the second power. Then, we're going to distribute the exponent. Therefore, we have 5 square, then x raised to 3 times 2. Okay, we're going to distribute the exponent, each numerical coefficient, and each variable. Then, we're going to simplify now. 5 square equals 25, and 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Therefore, we have x raised to 6. And the final answer is 25x raised to 6. The next law of exponent is power of a product. For any number x and y and any positive integers m, we have the quantity of x y raised to m. It is equal to x raised to m, y raised to m. So, ang gagawin natin dito, i-distribute natin yung exponent na nasa labas sa bawat variable or coefficient. Okay, example ng power of a product. Number 1. The quantity of xy raised to the third power. So, ang gagawin natin dito, i-distribute natin yung exponent na 3 doon sa si x at saka doon sa si y. Therefore, the answer is x cube y cube. Number 2. 5x cube y raised to the second power. So, again, i-distribute natin yung exponent na nasa labas which is 2 doon sa bawat numerical coefficient and variable. So, we have now 5 square and then x raised to 3 times 2. So, we multiply natin yung exponent na nila and then y square. So, 5 square now is 25 and x 3 times 2 is 6 and y square. So, na simplify na natin. Therefore, the final answer is 25 x raised to 6 y square. Number 4 low sub exponent, the quotient of Powers. For any non-zero number x and for all integers m greater than n, so ibig sabihin non-zero, walang zero na number doon sa x. And then, dapat mas mataas yung exponent ng numerator kaysa sa denominator. So, pag mataas ang exponent ng numerator kaysa sa denominator, we're going to subtract there exponent. Say, for example, x raised to m over x raised to n, then it is equal to x raised to m minus n. 
Okay, example ng quotient of powers. Number 1, a raised to 5 over a squared. Um, dito, mas malaki yung exponent ng nasa taas kaysa sa baba. Therefore, imaminus natin yung exponent ng numerator at ng denominator. So, kakapi lang natin yung base na a o yung variable na a and then 5 minus 2. So, the answer is a cubed. Number 2, 6x raised to 7 over 3x squared. So, same process. So, ang gagawin natin, dahil may numerical coefficient siya, i-divide muna natin yung numerical coefficient. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. And then, ikakapi natin yung same variable, which is x, and then, ima-minus natin yung exponent. So, 7 minus 2. So, therefore, final answer is 2x raised to 5. Okay, next, the fifth loss of exponent, which is power of a quotient. So, for any non-zero number x and y, and for all integers m, so we have x over y raised to, uh, the quantity of x over y raised to m power. So, we have um, it is equal to x raised to m over y raised to m. So, same, uh, it is distribute distribute din natin yung exponent ng m sa bawat variable. So, okay, um, we have an example. x, or the quantity of x over y raised to the fourth power. So, we distribute the exponent 4 to x and to y. So, therefore, we have x raised to 4 over y raised to 4. Number 2, the quantity of 3a over 5b raised to the second power. So, we are going to distribute the exponent to their, um, to their numerical coefficient and to the uh, variable or literal coefficient. So, now we have 3 square and a square over 5 square b square. And then, isi-simplify lang natin. 3 square is equal to 9. Then, we have 9a square. And 5 square is equal to 25. Therefore, the final answer is 9a square over 25b square. Okay, that's all for now, guys. Para sa mga gusto pang manood ng mga videos ko.